What is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sin Blackblade and welcome back to vlog number 10 of our uh, Shadow Dual Claw class build. Now first of all I would like to apologize to you guys if you know I haven't really done any videos lately. The reason behind it is of course I have work and you know I have a lot of projects lined up and it's pretty hard to you know sneak in uh, a video or two. But then you know I'm making one now so that you guys you know have some of that delicious content. Now as you can see in my background or up there you know I've started to uh, progress through the game by uh, killing General Gravisius, uh, Cole and of course Piety. And uh, you know generally none of them post any much threat of course this is already the merciless difficulty and you know I was uh, pretty surprised that you know this build uh, has been able to withstand their hits although if you can see there uh, Cole has been doing a lot of critical hit damage but of course uh, because we have our uh, granite flask we, we are able to uh, take the hits plus of course we have to take into consideration that we have a lot of life pool now as you can see here you know I'm trying to uh, kill Piety she was basically a face roll you know um, she wasn't really that hard she wasn't really that difficult um, whether she was on her a fire elemental form or on her um, ice elemental form she didn't really pose uh, that much of a threat so uh, with that said uh, let's get into our stats okay so with regards to our uh, skill tree um, I never really made any uh, changes or any much changes except of course to uh, get a lot of damage nodes now I'm not entirely sure if I've said it uh, on my previous video but yes uh, I've got this uh, fencing which of course increases our physical damage with one-handed weapons by 24% and of course getting a, a small amount of attack speed there. And of course getting these uh, two damage dealing nodes, uh, one is 12% and the other one is a 15%. Uh, increase plus of course 12% uh, uh, no it's actually just plus 12 to uh, maximum life but that's okay um, and yeah what else oh and I proceeded to get the unwavering stance now the reason behind I got this node is because we don't want to get stunned and uh, the reason we don't want to get stunned is because if we do get stunned and then there's a lot of mobs you know just surrounding us each of them has the potential to do a critical damage and if they do you know maybe five or ten hits uh, we're already dead so uh, being being able to you know uh, not be stunned uh, gives us the advantage to you know um, leech back a lot of life therefore lessening the chance that we get one shot and of course uh, down here below I've gotten the gallantry which increases of course our physical uh, weapon damage by 24% and of course getting another 10% and plus 4% attack speed now uh, I'm not entirely sure where I'm going after this but I plan on getting this uh, ambidextry because aside from getting the uh, plus 24 physical uh, weapon damage we are getting a 4% increase in attack speed so that would be you know that would have a significant amount of damage output for our character now as far as that goes all of my uh, resistance are all capped except of course uh, chaos resistance because it's really really hard to you know uh, min max the chaos resistance into your other resistance so that everything will be capped and of course uh, when we uh, on my skill tree we already have the clear mind so that's already a good um, plus 16% to our chaos resistance and of course uh, what else uh, my life regeneration per second is at, is at 105 and um, my armor is at 4246 if I pop in my uh, granite flasks with um, uh, increased evasion rating that goes up to uh, 9870 which is you know not bad and of course, uh, with regards to gear, I haven't really uh, changed much of the uh, of my claws. It's really, really hard to find a good claw in this game. I don't know why. You know, I've spent around uh, two to three hours just grinding the um, trade channel. You know, looking for a decent claw, and so far, uh, no luck. And I'm also, you know, looking for a um, that unique Helion spell, which is a, a blood seeker. And uh, it seems, you know. Either nobody wants to sell it or that shit is pretty rare. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping to get my hands on it well, one day. And of course, I have managed to 5-link this um, 4 socketed armor which took me around uh, 50 uh, orb of fusings. So uh, after the 50th or about you know 55th, you know, give or take, I was able to fuse this 5. And of course, um, with my dual strike, what's in there is... Uh, Melee Splash, 
melee physical damage, multi strike, and of course blood magic. And our damage now is at 5,857. That is a lot of DPS. You know, I've been mowing down mobs really, really fast. I've been killing them really, really efficiently. And of course, uh, that DPS uh, comes of course with the uh, Haste Aura which of course increases our attack speed by 15%. Uh, now when it comes to my other gear, uh, I think I've changed the unique um, the unique helm that I have into this helm. Uh, the reason behind it is because of the plus 93 to maximum life. Although I am losing another resistance there, I have circumvented it with um, uh, to, with my other gears. Uh, say for example, I've gotten this um, gauntlets which of course increases the cold resistance by 40%. Now I needed that 40% because I lost the um, percentage, uh, I lost 40% here from the uh, unique helm that I had. So I had to circumvent that over here. And as far as uh, with my other skill goes, I have, um, I think I've already discussed this, uh, cast when damage taken, what's in there is Enfeeble, Enduring Cry, and of course, Molten Shell. And of, co and of course, uh, I've also got, I also have another uh, cast when damage taken here, and what's in there is uh, Blood Rage, and of course, uh, Discharge. Now with Blood Rage, my uh, damage significantly increases to about uh, 6,000 plus. And of course, uh, I've gotten, uh, I've, you know, I've started to um, figure out uh, some more skills that I could do, although this is not really necessary. It's just that, you know, just having one attack uh, all throughout the game is really, really boring. So uh, I decided to put in some Flicker Strike there, and atta what's attached is some melee physical damage, um, increased critical strikes, and of course, uh, multi-strike. Now, with regards to my uh, flasks, uh, I've finally gotten a fairly good roll with um, with a you know remove bleeding. Uh, I was hoping to get you know uh, a high uh, re life recovery plus remove ble bleeding, but you know I've already spent around uh, 40 uh, orbs here, and you know I don't really want to waste any more of that because you know I'm I'm really uh, running out of currency. And of course, this one uh, this one removes uh, immunity. And uh, what I mean is, this one removes curses and plus, you know, immunity. And uh, what's this? Uh, yeah, uh, this this is my really you know panic button. If I if I feel like you know I'm losing life really fast, I click on this and you know my life recharges really really quick. Uh, nothing changed with the quicksilver flask, and of course, nothing changed with the uh, granite flask. And of course, with that said, uh, what else am I missing? Oh, and of course, I've gotten this pretty sweet uh, map. Now uh, I haven't really tried doing maps, so uh, I'm planning to uh, I'm planning to do a couple of videos. Uh, I don't know uh, how many videos will this take, but I'm going to do a video uh, on me, you know, playing on this uh, on this really sweet map here. As you can see there, you know, it has an item quantity percentage of 75%. I mean 20% and of course the no I mean the quality is 20% I'm sorry and of course the quantity is plus 75% and um, yeah so I think this this map would be really excellent to test our build if you know it can do maps now uh, I know you guys would love some gameplay hold on let me just uh, yeah I, you know I, I think I've discussed everything you know with the with regards to other gears, I'm just you know getting just much life there and much resistance. As you can see, this ring is very very crappy, but you know I, this is just self found. Um, it has a uh, good life there and some good resistance. Although it's just plus ten, but you know hey, <laughs> I'll take it. And yeah, and I think I've discussed all of this in my previous video. So enough about that. Let's get into some gameplay here. Oh, I'm getting so much lag. I'm sorry. I just loaded this map. So getting to a group of mobs here, as you can see, you know, I am uh, killing them at a really, really good rate. It's really, really fast. Uh, have the cast one damage taken have, hasn't really activated yet though, because yeah, we, we are just killing them so fast here. Uh, hold on, let's get some more mobs here. All right, we've got some elite here. Where is it? All right. So there you have it. Uh, the molten shell is activating and so does the uh, discharge. And now that the uh, blood, what, what do you call this? Uh, the blood rage has activated. My uh, damage has increased to 6,000, and of course 34. And of course that increases um, with the additional uh, what do you call this frenzy charges. 
So yeah, as you can see, you know, uh, we've been uh, killing mobs really fast. Now, I don't really advise uh, Flicker Strike when you get into those um, elite mobs, especially those blue ones, uh, because, you know, that could potentially kill you. Now, it can kill you, of course, because of lag. Hold on. Why am, why am I killing this so slow? I'm not really concentrating here. Alright, so uh, let's get a few more mobs here. You know, the really way, uh, there's only one way to uh, really test the build, and that is, of course, to do a very, very hard map, which I am planning to do, you know, uh, just, as so, just as soon as I finish, um, you know, my projects and my work. You know, I have really a lot uh, on my table here. That's why I can't really make uh, videos every day. But I'll try to, you know, guys. I will try to. Alright, so... Uh, not much luck with elite mobs, these are just white trash mobs. Uh, very easy to kill as you can see here. Um, you know, I think I'm able to clear this, um, I'm able to clear this uh, catacomb mobs within around 10 minutes, uh, give or take. You know, it's really not that hard. As you can see, you know, very very efficient killing speed. Uh, yeah. Hold on, let's just get this uh, last set of mobs here. Alright, we have some elite here. That's good. See, you know, I, I don't really care. You know, uh, we've got two elites here uh, coming at me both um, both from behind and the one... Whoa, 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 whoa. Almost died there, sorry. <laughs> you know, it's really hard to, um, to talk and play at the same time. Alright, so that's two elites there. I almost died. Almost embarrassed myself. <laughs> All right, so last set of mobs here, guys. Really, really excellent build. I suggest you guys try it. All right, so there we go. So um, nothing more to say, but uh, yeah, I guess you know uh, if you have the time, guys. I suggest you try this build. It's really, really fun to play. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you guys enjoy the content, please like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, I'm gonna see you guys on the next part of my video. So have a good one.